Our guest is John Van Leerhoven, former mayor of the District of Kent and also a former school teacher in this area. That's Can right. you tell us a little bit about your, uh, your history? My history, we came to Canada in 1953. Uh, my parents uh, decided that they wanted opportunities for their boys and their, they saw no future in Holland for us. So uh, I was age five, my brother was six, and we arrived in Saskatchewan. My father had been told that Holland was, Canada was just like Holland. Same climate, January in Saskatchewan was not like Holland. So uh, my father worked at uh, a couple of farms there, six months at one place in, near Melville, six, year, six months at another place near Willowbrook, and then we managed to escape to the West Coast, and Dad finally said, ah, this climate is just like Holland. Uh, we had an uncle and his family living here in Agassiz. We lived in Chilliwack for four years, and then we re relocated to Agassiz after that. Um, so I was nine, ten years old, arriving in Agassiz. So what year are we talking about? We're talking 1959-ish, is when we uh, arrived in Agassiz. Um, my father... Um, worked his uh, career at the Harrison Hotel in the gardens when it was a show garden many, many years ago. Uh, and uh, my mother naturally was a homemaker and she, we remember her spending all her time in the garden and canning and freezing and so on. I remember going with my father to the grocery store and uh, we didn't buy milk, there was milk on the farm. We didn't buy vegetables, there were vegetables on the farm. Uh, when our house got central heating, uh, my mother stopped making bread because the bread wouldn't rise anymore. So um, we went shopping with my father and we bought soda pop and bread. <laughs> and that was all we ever bought at, at uh, the grocery store. Yeah. Um, Graduated from high school here in 1966, uh, went to university for five years, and then, uh, lo and behold, I secure a teaching job at Kent School in Agassiz, of all places to end up. Mm -hmm. I had friends who applied throughout the province. Mm -hmm. I applied in the valley because I liked the valley, and Agassiz was where I ended up. Um, taught at Kent School, various different grades, uh, for 18 years. Mm -hmm. Any specific courses? It was elementary, so it was, uh, you're basically teaching everything, and it was everything except for music, because I'm not <laughs> terribly musical. Um, I started at grade five, did grade four for a few years, did, uh, special needs students for a number of years, I think where I really perfected my passion for teaching. And I understood kids and how different all kids are and how talented all kids are. And so um, um, it ended up being a very rewarding career. 18 years in Agassiz, 17 years in Chilliwack, and then five years of substituting after that because I missed being around young people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you enter the world of politics? After retiring from teaching in 2005, I um, went substituting and then uh, as I started seeing younger substitutes, I s called the school districts I worked in and said, please make sure that they're working mm -hmm. and I only want to work when I'm when I'm sure that they're all working because I'm doing it for pleasure. And then uh, for, then I, I think I re was retired for a few years. I think 2008 I started getting interested in local politics and giving back a little bit. Uh, ran 
for counsel. I did one term as a counselor. And then I uh, put my name forward for mayor and um, I ran unopposed the first term. And the second term, I, there was actually an election. So I uh, did 10 years with council, three years as a councillor and seven years as a mayor. Are there any things over the years in this community that stand out, uh, come to mind as a, a really great memory? Well, I think one of the things that I hear often from new people to the community, they talk about the wind <laughs> in January. And uh, generally, the reply from me is, how long have you been in Agassiz? And they'll say two or three years. Is, oh, you wait, because uh, the wind hasn't really blown yet. So there were, there, I remember as a young fellow growing up, there were years where you really got cabin fever because you spent all your time inside for the month of January because it just howled outside. It was like a prairie snowstorm. And the house literally had to hang on to its foundation to stay put. I remember walking to school. It's amazing how we actually made it, you know. And I guess it wasn't uphill, but it was against the wind both ways. What's so wonderful about Agassiz is that it's continued to have its rural, small town feel. I know it has grown over the years. I know uh, when I was mayor, I would ask a new resident, say, what made you choose Agassiz? And they would say, well, it's a, the small town feel. And I would respond by saying, well, thank you very much. And they'd say, well, what do you mean? It's, well, you just made it bigger. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but Agassiz has maintained that small town feel where everybody knows everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a wonderful community to live in for this fairly lengthy period of time because if I arrived here when I was nine and I'm now 72, I guess that's a few years, uh, we uh, raised a family here and our, our Young people have all moved on to careers and and so forth. Uh, it's been a wonderful place for them to grow up and for us to uh, make long-lasting friendships.